Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. And today we'll be doing this beautiful install, flawless install, courtesy of Harella Hair. This is the wig in all its glory. This is my final result. And as you guys can see, this jewelry curl wig was everything and more. So if you're interested in getting the look with me, keep on watching. I fell in love with Ashley. Down in Miami, we got nasty. I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed. Jumping right into it, this is the inside construction of the cap. The only prep I'm going to do to this wig is to tint the lace using a foundation powder. I'm using the Fenty because I love that one and how it matches my complexion. I have my exact shade in the description box, but I did just add a generous amount along the hairline. I'm blow drying it in just to let it set so that it doesn't transfer to my skin too much. And it just warms up the hairline to make it match my complexion a lot better. Here's a close up of the hairline and what it looks like straight out of the box. Also, here's a look at the parting and what that looks like. This one is a 13 by 4 lace wig. It's 26 inches in length and the density is definitely nice and full, but not too heavy or overbearing, especially because it's cooling down here in California. This is the perfect wig for the transition I've been experiencing with the weather this week. So I'm going to pull the hair back and proceed to cut off the excess lace. I usually will start with the ear tabs and pretty much cut off all the excess lace around the ear. This is going to make the wig fit my head like a glove, literally a perfect fit. Now that everything looks amazing and also get a load of how flat the wig is and just how well it hugs my head, it's definitely my size and not too big at all. I did opt to go in and open up the hairline just a little bit more. I feel like I can work with the way it came because it was absolutely beautiful, but just turning it up a notch and making sure it was super flawless, especially because I did baby hair this time around, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too dense and I definitely executed well. Now, while I go ahead and tweeze away, I do want to mention that Harella is offering some discount codes in the description box. So be sure to check that out on your way out. And you can also follow them at at Harella underscore hair um, on Instagram. All of their social media handles are in the description box. So again, check that out and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. Now we're going to proceed to cut off the remainder of the excess lace. Get a load of how like the front center kind of has like a widow's peak. If that doesn't suit you, you can cut straight across right there so that it doesn't protrude forward. I just left it just to see or, you know, switch it up a little bit and it worked out for me. This is a glueless install, but we are going to be bonding the wig down. I'm using an extra hold hairspray that I found at Target, and this is one of my favorite ones. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the lace. What I loved about this one is that because the wig fit my head so well, I was able to add that product and put the lace on top. And as you can see, it looks like it's already bonded down. I really didn't have to do much work at all. Typically when a wig is too big or too loose around the hairline, it won't just sit as flat and flush as it did this time around. The benefit of that was that I was able to bond down all three sides at once and then blow dry at once, which just simplifies the whole process completely tremendously and i was so happy about that now that we're done we are going to go ahead and work on baby hair now you guys know i love 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 a good set of baby hair i wasn't quite sure with this one how well it was going to look i didn't want it to be obnoxious or overbearing so i did trim it pretty short and i'm going to use the edge control from bdecbeauty.com to just go in and really take my time and find the right shape and you know soup everything until I found my way and how I wanted it as you guys can see it was a little bit too thick so I am like sending some of the hair backwards so that it's not too overbearing in the front also going a little bit further over with adding a little bit more baby hair along pretty much like the side tips of the hairline I didn't go all the way down I didn't think it needed to be like along the baby hair or the sideburns rather and I think this came out perfect now that the install is done you can't tell me anything but I'm gonna go ahead and work on the length of the hair I opted for a side part just to go ahead and extend the parting and just give me a little bit of a Mufasa va va voom first I kind of pulled the hair out using my fingers and I wanted you to see how big you can get it 
but that wasn't the look I was going for. Instead, I wanted something a lot more defined. So I'm just going to go in with the mousse from Lotta Body. And I used a generous amount using my fingers to really work it in. Once I get it all the way in, I'm going to use the Dimming Brush to clump my curls together. And this was the look that I loved so much. Again, I'm being very generous with this product. Off camera, I did go in and spray a little bit of water as well to kind of move the product around and saturate it just a little bit more. Um, and I love the way it came out. It wasn't hard or crunchy um, and it didn't revert to big. If you want it to be like revert to big easily, you can just wash and condition the hair, remove the product and it'll go back to the big Mufasa that we had in the last clip. Now look at how beautiful the hair clumps together with that dimming brush absolutely gorgeous this one looked so good i got so many compliments and head turns on my daily routine today and at pilates love the way this looks and just look how beautiful and how much sheen and just everything about this one was super beautiful i loved her and i love the fact that she fit my head so it makes me want to wear her every day gonna just finish it off the side so that it's perfect and then i'm gonna just go ahead and add my fenty concealer um to the party as well as a foundation powder to the hair Line. I feel like Fenty's liquid products work very well as lace tints for me personally. And then the Ruby Kisses powder works great. I use a shade darker than my complexion and this looks amazing to set it off. Okay, love bugs. So we are done with this look and it came out super cute. This one came from Herella and this is their packaging. Inside you do have this um, elastic band. Now this actually was already attached to to the wig when I received it. I did it to remove it because I do prefer my wigs without the elastic band, except if I am wearing it 100% glueless. This time I did use an extreme hold hairspray to bond the wig down, so I felt like I had enough support for the hairline. But of course, if I was like traveling or just going somewhere like um, where I was gonna do some adventure, I probably would leave this in just to help to keep the wig on my head. They also gave a pack of wig caps inside, and then you also get this little goodie bag. Within the goodie bag, you do get another pack of wig caps, and then you also get some really nice mink lashes, super cute. A powder brush, it's like a little rose gold makeup brush edge band or wig band and yeah this one was super easy to install i did go for a curly option and i love 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 the way it came out now i always tell you guys the best thing to do is to prep your wig before you put it on by that i mean when you're work working with curly hair it's a great idea to co-wash it maybe shampoo and condition it if you don't have time or you just want to keep it simple a nice moisturizing conditioner in the sink to go ahead and submerge the hair and really activate the curls also if you want to bleach the knots tint the lace those are great things to do before you put your wig on and will give you 100 percent the best result possible for me i wanted to do a straight out of the box install for you guys today one of my favorite ways to style hair especially when i do straight out of the box to activate the curls is to take a mousse, something that is a little bit more moisturizing opposed to like one that has a hull to it, and really saturate the hair with this. And this is gonna go ahead and loosen up the curls, activate the curls, and really, really give you a great curl pattern. And then I did add a little bit of water on top just because I feel like when you use straight mousse sometimes, it'll dry with a little bit of crunch and that um, water will kind of saturate the hair and kind of loosen up the product so that it dries a little bit more wet and curly and fluffy opposed to like hard spiral curls key to it secret weapon is a dimming brush now i use this all the time with my curly hair if i curly hair in my hair and i forget my dimming brush or i don't have a dimming brush it's just not the same um not only is a dimming brush going to help to detangle the hair it's going to give you those nice natural like growing out of the scalp curls that are unlike anything else you can definitely see you can definitely see the transformation of the curls you get straight out of the box and the curls you get when you style the hair love 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 the way this one came out i love that it's a really nice long length and it's extra full to complement that you can definitely do a center part you can do braid up front you can do ponytail or buns up front you can do no baby hair you can do no parting literally the options are limitless but i did go for a curved parting and i do love 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 the way it looks especially with the baby hair it definitely sets off and situation these curls 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. A direct link to this wig is in the description box if you are interested in checking it out. Also, the mousse and just all the products we use today are in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!